This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Tonight at midnight across New York State, a one-year window of opportunity opens for child sex abuse victims to seek justice no matter how long ago the abuse took place. Nikki Batiste spoke to a woman who says she was abused decades ago. I was raped by the janitor at the school repeatedly. Joanne Schoonmaker says a janitor began raping her when she was just 11 years old at her public middle school in upstate New York. Did you tell anyone what was happening to you? I did. I told the school principal. What did the principal say? He said to just stay away from him. He didn't call authorities? Nothing. Or law enforcement? No one. I never heard from any law enforcement or anyone. No one was there to protect me. But she is finding justice with a new statute of limitations law taking effect at midnight in New York. The state's groundbreaking Child Victims Act gives Schoonmaker and other victims sexually abused as a child a one-year look-back window to file a civil lawsuit regardless of their age now. It will likely lead to a tidal wave of litigation against institutions like the Catholic Church, public and private schools, and the Boy Scouts. 18 states and Washington, D.C. also have revised statute laws taking effect this year. It hands the power to the victims. Marcy Hamilton is founder of the child abuse advocacy group Child USA. The average age, according to the best science, uh, of a victim coming forward about child sex abuse is age 52. This is your first time sharing your story publicly. It is. Schoonmaker is now 51 and says for the first time in 40 years, she has a voice. I trusted them to take care of me. I can see from your emotion is certainly something that never leaves you. Never. Schoonmaker says her alleged abuser was later convicted of raping a 12-year-old girl. She plans to file a civil lawsuit against the principal and Wellsville School District tomorrow morning. Nora, I just spoke with the school, and they say they have no comment. Wow, Nikki Batiste, thank you. Tonight, there